Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's short video, I wanted to answer a common question that has been asked after I posted my uh, Space Engine Trappist 1 video. People have been asking me, how did you actually add Trappist 1 system to Space Engine, and how can we actually do the same? So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do it yourself, and how you can actually even add more systems to your liking. Anyway, let's do this from scratch. So as you can see, right now I have the entire Trappist-1 system that's essentially very realistic looking and also has these absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous uh, planets orbiting around Trappist-1 that I'm about to show you that even have this very new texture on them that um, creates these worlds that are essentially... Um, there you go. There, there we go with the world there. Uh, they're, they're essentially uh, tidally locked and you can see that there's one side that's very hot, one side that's very cold. And then uh, the, si uh, the, the twilight area in the middle has a little bit of liquid water. So this is a new texture that has been added uh, very recently actually and is only available through the so-called add-ons. So in this video I'm going to show you how to basically modify your game of Space Engine to your liking. So. First step first, if you don't have Space Engine yet, go to Space Engine website and the website here is spaceengine.org and uh, well, this is actually the new, uh, um, this is a new website. You can, if you don't like this or if it's too slow for you, you can always open the old website and right on top here, you'll be able to find the download button for the Space Engine. Alternatively, you go here. Now, we're, um, I'm going to assume that you already have Space Engine. And so two things you can do here. One is take a look at uh, these official add-ons. These actually make your solar system a lot, a lot more beautiful. They give you really high textures for most of the planets and uh, for some of the moons as well. And this here gives you an even higher texture. It's actually ridiculously beautiful. But at the same time, this file is like something like 26 gigabytes in size. So it will take you quite a long, long while to download. But we're not going to be taking a look at these, we're looking at the unofficial add-ons. And this is exactly where you'll be able to modify your game even more. We're going to go into forum, and under forum, um, under mods and add-ons, you'll actually find a whole collection of various fan-made um, mods, various fan-made add-ons that uh, make this game very, very interesting and very amusing to play. Like, for example, there's even music add-ons. You can add more music. There's a lot of uh, new nebula. There's a lot of uh, various um, planetary additions like that actually make planets look even more realistic. And a lot of other crazy things that you can kind of explore. Um, quite a lot of uh, realistic additions too, including new planets, new um, stars, new galaxies, and... Uh, um, of course, new nebula and st stuff like that. So everything that's discovered is usually added here by the fans almost uh, right away within a few weeks. You can always just kind of look them up by searching the forum. Like, for example, you can go and find the Proxima B planet in the nearby Proxima Centauri system. And right here under the list of mods for Space Engine, you will actually discover that there is a collection of mods and modifications that already has Proxima B, even not just one, but like six different versions of Proxima B that are all possibilities for what this particular planet and this particular star system might look like. But we're of course here to get our Trappist system. And right here on the first page, you'll actually find um, Trappist 1. And this is actually the unofficial modification that I haven't used yet. This is by a person named Pluton who made another version of it. But if you want to find the official version of Trappist, you will actually have to go into another section of the forum. So all of the uh, stuff here is actually very beautiful and you can de definitely play around with it. But we're going to go into forum again. And under science and astronomy right here, if you scroll down a little bit, you will find the Exoplanet news thread. This is essentially where I got this particular mod from. This is by Space Engineer himself. In other words, that's the guy who made Space Engine. And uh, he made it very, very accurate using uh, the um, actual publication from NASA. And the file is right here. You need to download this Trappist-1 pack. And I'm going to do this with you just so you can see how easy it is to do this. So we're going to take this file. And now go into our Space Engine folder, wherever you installed it, go under add-ons and put it right here. Now I'm going to actually change this to uh, just Trappist-1 pack. Now all of the packs, all of the add-ons always go here. Once you post them here, once you put them in this folder, um, that's all you need to do. You go into systems now and launch your Space Engine. And this should technically work right away. And so here we are in uh, Space Engine. I just opened it up. So let's uh, type 
Trappist, and there you go. Trappist won with all of its seven beautiful planets. And let's actually go and maybe land on one of them just to see if it looks the same. And look at that, such a beauty. So here you go, this is how you can add all of the add-ons, including the Trappist add-ons, to your space engine. And this is how you can make your space engine even more beautiful and even more interesting. All of the new discoveries will always will always appear somewhere on the forum here, and you will always be able to download new really cool things to explore, new systems, new galaxies, and new really interesting destinations. And so anyway, so that's all I wanted to say uh, about the add-ons for Space Engine and basically go and check it out, play around with a lot of these different things and possibly even consider supporting um, Space Engineer with his absolutely free software. He actually always accepts donations. If you go to his main page right here, there is a donation bar on the bottom and every year he tries to raise some money because that's essentially his hobby, but at the same time, this has become his full-time job. That's probably uh, the only money he'll ever get for this game because he's planning to keep it absolutely free even when it officially comes out on Steam. And right there on the bottom, it tells you how much money he's already raised for this project and his goal is to raise 80,000. Anyway, support the project, check out Space Engine if you still haven't, Download those add-ons and try the Trappist add-on because it's absolutely amazing. It's very, very realistic and very, very beautiful. And also subscribe to this channel if you love space stuff and if you want to learn through video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow because you're going to learn something completely different. And if you also want to support my channel, you might consider supporting me on Patreon. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's fly around Trappist 1 and see the vistas and the beautiful system in its glory. And... I'll see you tomorrow. Space out. Bye-bye.